Hi, my name's Christopher Tolson and I'm the Director of Instruction here at the Jim McLean Golf School at the Doral Resort and Spa in Miami, Florida. I'm going to give you some, some pointers and some tips on pitching the ball. Um, pitching, we've actually deemed at our school the lost art. Um, we find folks that come to our school are really uh, at a loss at being able to pitch the ball effectively. Pitching, I find, is important really for two reasons. One, almost every hole you're going to be faced with some version of a pitch, whether it's a little 10-yard pitch or a 50-yard pitch. And also, secondly, pitching is important because it's a mini swing. If you can improve your pitching, you'll improve your full swing. So, here are some common denominators that all great pitchers have. First of all, we want you setting up for success. Like so many, so like all the other shots in golf, getting into a good setup is at least half the battle. When you hit a pitch shot here, your feet are going to be close together. I'd say just under, right underneath your hips. The ball position's in the center, and your weight is about 60% over on your left leg. The club shaft is going to lean and point over at the crease in your pant leg here. It's all right to be in a little bit of an open stance, meaning that your left foot is pulled back a little bit. During the swing, you want to keep your weight on your left leg. There is no weight shift in a pitch shot. Your weight's going to stay on your left leg. And what's bringing the club back is a wrist hinge and my arms. And you'd like your right arm to fold up. It's imperative that we get this club head up. On the through swing here, the key is not so much arms, wrist, but now it's our body. Uh, more specifically, maybe my belt buckle making sure my belt buckle leads the parade here and gets pointing at my target. So we have a pitching mantra here that we use. Hinge, turn, and hold. Hinge the club up with your wrist and your right arm here. Turn your belt buckle and have some resistance and hold your finish here. I'll hit a couple. One thing, very important, is notice the divot is in front of this white line. That would be a fundamental of golf. I think one great drill that you could do that would improve your pitching would be to have a board or maybe even just a head cover. And I'd place it maybe a couple feet or a foot and a half behind your ball. And what this does is it does a couple things. First of all, you're going to naturally tend to lean a little bit to the left trying to get away from the board. It's also going to promote some wrist hinge and getting the club head to get up. And it also guarantees us that the club's going to land in front of the line where your divot's going to, the club's going to bottom out after the ball. So, ball's in the middle. Your weight's left, the shaft leans a little bit ahead. The back swing, we're going to leave our weight on our left leg, get the club to hinge up. Turn your belt buckle through and have a little resistance here. One thing you want to guard against is having a long finish, trying to lift the ball up, up in the air. You do much better with having an abbreviated finish where you feel some resistance and some firmness in your arms and your wrist here. So ho hopefully these tips will help you with your pitching. Pitching is an area that can really take shots off, off your score if you just adhere to some of these basics.